Are you tired of being covered in dirt yet? No, I'm, no. I'm used to dirt. <laughs> How excited are you for this rabid fan base to see where it all began? Uh, just as a as a part of that rabid fan base, I can't <laughs> wait. This is just like the prequel to your favorite show. There's definitely lots of horses and lots of shooting, all the action. <laughs> all that horses and shooting you want. It's nothing like Taylor's ever done before, even though it's in the realm of Yellowstone. And I mean, cinematically, it's just as beautiful, if not more. But you could end episode one and two, you could put them together as a movie, and it could be, it could be perfect. I think it's... It's such a special project, I mean, the scope of it. And I think it's a reminder of who we were mm -hmm. a few generations ago mm -hmm. and who you are when everything's taken away. It shows you where the Dutton family came from. Yeah. And uh, there's, there's no uh, glamorizing it in any way. It really gives you an appreciation for the struggle uh, that, that it took for them to get to Yellowstone. It's ultimately really a story of survival and how important community is, um, how important it is to care for one another in, in order to survive. What is 1883 going to bring to the fans? What are they going to get out of this show? I think we're going to get a really good classic period western. Well, Taylor Sheridan is a wonderful writer, and he said it was with Tim and Faith and Sam Elliott, who are all old friends of mine. Mm. And like I said, it was so well written, and uh, it was a character that was obviously going to be a blast to play. It is the most beautiful script I've ever read. Um, Taylor wrote poetry, and it's such a gift to all of us. I mean, he's a brilliant writer. He's a genius. He knows about this. He writes spare dialogue, which speaks to me. Mm. You know, he's a man of few words in some ways. How would you recommend the fans at home watch to like get through all of this heartbreak and toil and all of it? Uh, you know, in small doses. Okay. In small doses. Take a bath. <laughs> go to therapy. No, it's going to tear your soul in two. Just embrace it. Just lean into that. Lean uh, into it. Get a couple of paper towels to weep into or something. Oh. Give yourself a break. Stare into the abyss. And then don't stare into the abyss for a little bit. Stare somewhere else. You are part of the incredible Taylor Sheridan universe. Are you a big Yellowstone fan? I am. I really am. I just sat down there. The first time that I knew what Taylor's world was, was I auditioned for Yellowstone last season for uh, Jimmy's girlfriend. Didn't get it, but you know, here I am. How were your TV parents? Did you guys have fun? Uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> we love you two together. You're incredible on this show. How did you separate We Are Married in Real Life? We are playing two totally different human beings married on this show. You take things that are part of yourself that you find in the character that you're playing and you put it under a magnifying glass and you just sort of blow that up and, and use that. And I think that we've done that with our characters individually and our relationship together. And she did get to slap you in one scene, that helped. She did. <laughs> nice. More than slap That's me, she knocked it. the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> the cast, oh my God, the cast. I, mean, I was with Billy Bob earlier and like freaking out. The sheriff's in town, woo! <laughs> It's like Tom Hanks and this. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Sam Elliott, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill. I mean, it's a pinch me moment. I'm looking over there, and every day on set, when I see my name on the cast chair sitting next to their names, I mean, it's it's unreal. To me, the landscape, the uh, the mountaintops, the 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 Brazos River, the that's the leading character of the show, and all of us are just filling in around it to to bring it to life. What about your character? What can fans expect? A badass black cowboy with a gun and a badge. Oh, perfectly put. I'm excited for fans to be able to see us all freezing our butts off and yeah. uh, enduring um, dangerous conditions. Um, freezing, uh, overheating, uh, sweat going down parts of your body. You didn't know sweat could go down. Maybe that was a little too TMI, but I said it. <laughs> Should he keep the beard? This one here? Yeah. Uh, you know, well, we're still filming, so while we're filming, yes, for sure, but. Yeah, you know, I have to remind him to clean it when he's eating. <laughs> Knowing how intense that environment is, do you think you could survive in a real 1883? No. No, no I don't think I don't think any of us city dwellers could no. survive the Oregon Trail. How would Billy Bob Thornton do? Not well. I'm, I I wouldn't do very well in 1883. I don't like mosquitoes. Give me a, you know, hotel any old right. day. I'm very private about the bathroom. <laughs> Understandably. 1883 would not work for me. How would Jimmy do in real 1883? Not well, not well. He needs a lot of second chances, our guy. He needs a lot of medical science. Describe 1883 in one word. Epic.
Epic. Epic. Epic. Epic. A lot of people are saying epic. It's a good one. Or, um, no, no. I want to say like an odyssey. It's it's it's, it's quite it's, it's like an odyssey. Intense. Intense. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Is that the word? Yeah, yeah, it might be that. It might be that. Freedom. Beautiful. Exciting. Exciting is a good choice. <laughs> uh, truthful. Mm. Mm, that's a good one. She delivered. Get ready. Grab a big big bucket of popcorn, sit on a comfy couch, and watch it on the biggest screen you can because it's huge. If you like a period western, tune it in. You'll get your money's worth. You'll be watching a long, wonderful movie. You're going to see a beautiful show, um, uh, a heartwarming show, a uh, tragic show, but storytelling told at the highest level. It is unlike anything you have seen ever. As a fan of Yellowstone, 1883 feels like a culmination and a sort of explosion of so many of our favorite themes across this incredible pastoral landscape. I think it's uh, the most exciting thing to happen on television in a long time and I can't wait to see it.